we are meeting here today uh, to bring in the rules that will help us fix Canada's oil price crisis. But before we get to those rules, let me start by saying that I've heard from quite a number of Albertans last night and into this morning. Uh, we are in a crisis, a crisis that is not of our making, uh, but it is up to us to fix. Yep. People are frustrated uh, that failure after failure of successive federal governments to get pipelines have put us into this position. People are worried about the future and people want to know that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that's what we're all here to do, to deal with. So despite that anxiety, Albertans know that extraordinary times call for decisive action, uh, like what we did last night. We've heard the same sentiment from many of our energy companies. And again, let me offer my thanks to everyone from industry who worked with us in making this decision, uh, those on both sides of the debate, quite frankly. And I'd like also to once again offer my thanks to other parties in the legislature uh, for keeping partisan politics to a minimum um, and uh, for supporting, uh, in large part, the action that we took last night. This is a time for unity and for resolve. And I especially want to stress this to Ottawa. We need them to uh, toss the half-hearted statements uh, away. We don't actually need Ottawa's sympathy. We need Ottawa's full attention. We need them to step up and help us bring an, an end to this crisis. We need uh, Ottawa to fix Bill C-69, fix the tanker bane, and join us in getting more energy resources moved by rail. Again, I want to assure Albertans that the production curtailment is short term. It is paired with our ongoing fight to build pipelines, a fight that we will win, as well as being paired with our Made in Alberta plan to dramatically increase upgrading and refining here in Alberta. As I said last evening, the Alberta government is also stepping up to uh, buy 7,000 new rail cars to help clear the backlog and then keep it clear once it gets clear. Uh, with that said, our task today for this cabinet meeting is to put the curtailment in motion and to ensure that it is regulated and enforced. Mm -hmm. We will consider a regulation that gives the energy minister the power to direct the AER to curtail and to adjust the level of resource curtailed. This will be done through ministerial order and that order will be revisited every month. We will continue to work with industry to make sure that this curtailment is done in a way that is most effective and that is responsible and ensures that we don't curtail one extra drop more than we need to. In addition, experts throughout the industry will work together with the AER to make recommendations to us, to this cabinet, um, for how we can refine the rules as needed along the way. And we are implementing specific measures to make sure that our smallest producers will be treated fairly and protected. 